What's going on YouTube? Kuya here, bringing you a little bit of an update video. And can I say, it has been a very, very long time since I have been in this world. I hate that. I really do. I love this world. I love what we're doing in this world. I love all the different things we've already done and all the different ideas I've still got planned for this world. But summertime becomes very, very difficult for me. I am usually gone. Let me out. Let me out. <laughs> it won't let me out. There we go. I'm usually gone most of the summer. I work at a camp. And I'm only home on weekends. My sugar cane. Until I get a better farm going. But, so yeah, that, that's been a thing. It's been very difficult to get this stuff done. As you notice, my channel has been kind of bleak lately. I have got all of the, uh, yeah, Lost in Minecraft uploaded and back on track. We, I'm actually ahead of it now and working on getting the rest of them finished and scheduled. First time I've been on time in a very long time. Uh, but um, I'm glad we finally got that, that working, got it back on track. That makes me happy. As, uh, so those will be back up every Monday. As far as the journal series, I'm going to try my best to get it going as, again as well. The I should be able to. not going to make any promises. But if I drop it down to one a week, I should, shouldn't have any problem getting it going. Because I've got way too much left to do in here. I've got all of this to finish. Multiple layer, levels of this. Probably go down some, go up some. So definitely going to have to finish this up, finish the whole world up. If I can finish the world up, I got a bunch of stuff. But let's see if I can remember how to get out of here now. So yeah, hopefully this will be up at least once a week. I've got the Minecraft manual series I do want to work on. That one I may have to put off, and that would be the uh, tutorials on how to build some of the stuff, like the spawn, uh, my spawner farm different things. Gonna work on it. That'll probably wait until I get done with the summer. Work on getting it done. I might try to get a couple uh, episodes ready and uploaded to come out at any regular random time. But that uh, that should pretty well do it for the whoa, for Minecraft. There are a couple of Wii U games I'd like to do. If I can get up here. I've recorded Splatoon a couple times, just never have got around to doing much with it. I like Splatoon, I like Super Mario Maker, I've got my the Zelda series, a bunch of different things going on, so there's a lot of those and a lot on the virtual console I'd like to do. I got a couple of different Legend of Zelda games, I got some Mario games, different things, Fire Emblem, Golden Sun. So there's a ton of games I want to do. <clears throat> I want to work on and have those ready. I need to do away with all this stuff. I don't really need it anymore. But yeah, that that's a thing, all those. But the big news, there are there is there is one thing I really really wanted to talk about and I'm super excited about it. I don't know if anyone else is, but I'm super super excited about it. I have, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, don't you just love it when you're trying to do something and you get all that nice gunky stuff in your throat and it won't leave you alone, especially when you're about to give some big news, yeah, I gotta love that, but as I was saying, suspense, 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 right. as I was saying, I have, uh, I heard that Loopy was back into the 3DS capture card business, so I have already ordered a 3DS capture card. I sent it off, let's see, when did I mail that off? Yesterday morning? And it has already arrived. I've been tracking it very, very, very <clears throat> intensely, because there's not a whole lot more nerve-wracking than mailing a 3DS in the mail and hoping it gets where it's going, hoping it doesn't get lost, hoping it doesn't get broken. So, but according to the tracking system, he should have got it today. 
I don't know. I've asked him. I've sent him an email. Don't know if he'll reply or not. He's. I'm sure he's busy. But uh, I've asked him when I could somewhat expect it to come back. So hopefully it'll be pretty soon. Well, that happened. I. I know he's. There's no way he can be backed up as backed up as uh, Katsukitty is. And I'm not saying Katsukitty isn't a good company to go through is just one of those that scared me to send it overseas and then adding on the wait time just that was a big turn off for me and it's not I think they do a good job I think that's why they're so backed up they do a good job they work hard and they've just got so many orders so I've been putting it off and waiting because I didn't have the money then loopy decided to pop up out of nowhere and that made me happy so I've already sent it off hoping to get it back there will be multiple series I'm working on planning on doing with my 3DS capture the uh, I guess the most notable will definitely be Monster Hunter Generations coming out July 15th and if I get it back before then you can definitely expect some Monster Hunter Ultimate 4 coming out uh, some Pokemon X and Y and some Pokemon Omega Ruby and Omega uh, Alpha Sapphire things and some shiny hunting, Fire Emblem Fates. So, big fan of the Nintendo uh, handheld console. What are you doing? Go, go, Casper. I, I need you down. Back in there. There we go. So. Definitely a lot of those going to be coming through the channel. So many, so many different games. And of course, if there is any specific game you want to see me play, and most likely fail at, because if you've if you've been with me for any length of time, then you probably already know this. I am not a professional gamer. Love video games, love playing them, but I am far from being professional. As you can tell, as I try to climb a mountain here and fail at it. So, if there are games you want me to play, put them in the comments below. I'll definitely take a look into getting my hands on them, if I don't already have them. And, uh, we will play those. Uh, I've probably mentioned this before. But if not, I will mention it again. My, uh, my seven favorite... I can't pick games. I... Just go ahead and throw that out there. I'm, I cannot pick seven favorite games. It's just impossible for me. I've tried. It just doesn't work. So I stick with seven franchises. My favorite seven franchises would be Mario. Of course. Mario's classic Nintendo. Why wouldn't I? Mario and Pokemon. Pokemon. I've played Pokemon since the originals. I collected the cards. I watched this anime. I still watch it. I still I don't collect the cards. I've got a birthday Pikachu and I misprint Blaine's Charizard. And that's it. And I think I got the Mew card that you get from uh yeah. From the Pokemon the first movie promo. But other than that, I don't do I'm not one of those big collectors. I've wanted to, but I mean Pokemon's way too big to collect anyway. But that's one of my favorite genres. Or franchises. Yeah, Pokemon, you got Mario, you got Zelda, love the Zelda series. More so on the console than anything else. More on it than more of it than uh the handheld ones. I liked some of them. Oracle of Seasons and Ages and a few of those, but some of the newer ones I'm not as big a fan of. So, definitely a big fan of those. Then I got the Mega Man series. Love all the Mega Man games, especially the Battle Network series of it. Big fan of those. Got a couple of them on the Virtual Console. Going to play through those. Hopefully. Give me that. Let's see. Um, Golden Sun. Huge fan of Golden Sun. It was one of my first uh, RPGs. It's one of the first ones where I actually got to play where you changed armor and different things. So, we oh missed. Oh well. 
still need to fix this too. This is off by one, and it bugs me. But I'm gonna like create an elevator probably here anyway. Oh well. So Mario, Zelda, Pokemon, Mega Man, Golden Sun. Love the Fire Emblem series. Huge fan of the Fire Emblem series. Started playing it on the Game Boy. Interesting story there. We I was on my way to Florida with my family. We were going down to stay for a week or two. Stopped at the store and they had that game. My grandparents said they would buy me a new game. Nothing. There wasn't any I really wanted. But that one kind of stuck out. Picked it up. Never heard of it. Never saw anything about it. Or seen anything about it. Picked it up and it quickly became one of my favorite games. Love the tactics. Love the thought process that goes into it. And I've been a fan ever since. The uh, first one for the Game Boy here in the States. And the last but definitely not least, if not my absolute favorite, it, it's, it ranks right up there with all the rest. And that would be Monster Hunter. My uh, best friend got me hooked on it. I saw him play it some in college. He played it on the PSP with a, another friend of ours. And I didn't care too much for it. Then after college, we moved in together, got a place, that way we could, uh, it was cheaper and easier for us. And he bought it for the Wii. And I got stuck watching him. And yeah. He, yeah, I got, I got hooked. I got hooked bad. So I started with Monster Hunter Try. Played through Try, trying different weapons. Uh, finally ended up with the bow gun in Try. Then three ultimate came out. And I soloed the bow all the way through Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. And then Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate came out, where I have soloed the bow as well. I have not used anything other than the bow. In Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, I've only got one quest left, and that's uh, the Master's Test offline. That's where I have to find an Apex, Devil Joe, an Apex, uh, Seregios, and an Apex. What did I say? Diablos? Diablos, Regios, and then Devil Joe. All three Apex. It's a pain. That's the only quest I got left. I've completed all the online, all the rest of the offline. So, got that. I'm Hunter rank like 350 something now. And I've got over 1800 bow uses in the game. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Looking forward for generations. But, yeah. So, any of those games will definitely be, uh, eventually be on the channel. And again, if there's any one you want me to do, any game at all that's out for Wii U, uh, on the Virtual Console, an indie game, or for the 3DS, I should be able to get it, play it, record it, and probably fail at it. But if there is, let me know. I'll be more than happy to uh, work on that for you all. And that was pretty much the whole update. Just the big news was the 3DS capture card. I can't wait. I'm overly hyped. It's it's one of those I never actually thought this day would come. So, sadly, because I work at a camp, I will be gone all summer. My hope my 3DS capture card's here within the next week or two. I know that may be pushing it, but I'd like it that to be. And you got Monster Hunter Generations coming out July 15th, and I will be gone all summer, and, oh, I can't, it's just, just hard to think of being gone and not being able to do all that. But you know what? I'll live. I know y'all are so, so eager, sarcasm, to uh, see me play more. But with that, guys, I think that pretty much gives the update. I do apologize for being gone for so long and different things. I'm just trying to work this out. I'm still new at it. So I'm still trying to work out a timeline of when to record, when to... Hmm. There we go. When to record, when to upload, how to get all this done while trying to travel back and forth to the camp and different things. So much going on. So little time. But you know, it's worth it all. I really do enjoy it. And guys, with that, I think that pretty well covers everything. So... You know it. Until next time, have fun, be good, and we'll see you all later.